previously on night ventures. Listen, this is not the grand plan of my life, right? It was like, you move from New York City to here, right? <laughs> Do not get, you know, tricked. On this episode. There are humans that live here. I don't, I don't care about your opinions about who I love. Have people looked? Absolutely, they've looked. But I go like, oh, it's because we're cute. You know, like, that's why. <laughs> We start today's episode with a discussion of Claudia Wilson. Claudia is an activist, CEO, and a prominent human rights attorney in Iceland. Her son was the victim of racial profiling. Then we dive in the subject of interracial dating. Why are people bothered by this? For those of you who are new here, please subscribe, press the like button, and enjoy. She actually interviewed her on my channel a long time ago. Her name is Claudia Shani Wilson. She's amazing. Mm. And she comes from Jamaica, moved to Iceland for love, and then ended up going to law school. First person outside of Europe yes. uh, to graduate law school in Icelandic. Everything in Icelandic. She's fully fluent in Icelandic, does all of her work in Icelandic and all this stuff. And she represents people with human rights, but also other things too, not just you know, human rights, but like that's a, a big part of her firm. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you virtually profiled her son twice. Yeah. In this instance, right? So wow. it's like, I don't wanna, I never try to paint Iceland as being a perfect place because I feel like that takes away from the fact that there are humans that live here, right? Of course, of course. They make mistakes and they have bias and unconscious bias for mm -hmm. sure, whether it's like there's blatant and then there's unconscious. And in this case, it's like, Tackling these issues is so important because Iceland is becoming way more diverse. They need diversity in order for the society to grow. Right. Like they need more people of foreign origin to actually come in and work here. Yeah. And it's already that 15% of the population are people of foreign origin. Okay. So it's like things are changing. And um, I feel like, you know, societies in general, they have to adapt. And I think Iceland is in its own way doing its best, but with the help and with the you know integration of diversity it will be uh even faster process more right. efficient process and also better for everybody so we can like decrease the trauma of, right. like, people of, course. Things. of course but with all of that right like again i still really love living here and i mm -hmm. still feel like for me it's been a very healing place yes like as a black woman the safety part that you were talking about like i've had some really crazy instances in new york where i was afraid and i was just like yeah, I don't want to walk down the street by myself or this person is, is following me, right? And I'm, wow. I'm pretty afraid, but I don't get that here. And yeah. thankfully, and I hope, you know, whatever does happen, yeah. um, I've traveled around Iceland solo plenty of times. Never felt like my life is in jeopardy. That's I slept like, in a camper van. I slept in a freaking camper van, which is, I say That's that amazing. because I was just like not used to it. <laughs> you just completed a trip around. I, yeah, I did a 14 day trip. That was were mostly, you by yourself? That was mostly solo. Wow. There were a few days, there were four days where I was with a um, photographer yeah. who was like doing a project. And so we actually, I, I never, that was another thing. I don't normally, would normally do this either, but I never met her. And we stayed in the camper van together for four days. <laughs> <laughs> we had the best time, you know, but all the rest of it, it was solo. And it was amazing. And it was, people were so nice. And I met some, you know, really fascinating people. People were even like, do you want me to help you film some stuff? And I was like, thank you. And yeah, I just, I right had a great on. time. Right on. Um, speaking of diversity and um, you know being black in Iceland, some people might wonder, what's your experience like being mm. in an interracial relationship? You know, LeBron James, the basketball player, his son recently, I think they posted a picture of him and his girlfriend, okay. and his, this white girl, mm -hmm. and people, some people had very strong opinions mm. about this. They they felt like you know he shouldn't be with her because whatever. Um, <laughs> so this still, it seems like a lot of people have an issue with interracial dating. Yeah. What has been your experience here with that? Do you think it's similar? Do you get weird looks when you walk in mm. places? Or do you think it's different? People are more accepting here. I mean, if they're not accepting, they haven't said anything to me. Okay. Right? And I think that is great. Keep it to yourself. Right. And it literally has nothing to do with your life, right? Right. So I would say I've not, I've not thankfully had any Issues. I've I've also never experienced any blatant racism. Okay. So knock on wood again, <laughs> <laughs> right? So for me, it's been a really positive experience, and I think for a lot of people that can be hard to hear, and also exa exciting to hear, right? So there are people who come, and I know of other, thankfully, women uh, and men who are either black or people of color who have come here and had an amazing time. I mean, you're here, and you it's were amazing. Yeah, I love Iceland. Exactly. So like, and it can really vary. Right. And for myself, have people looked? Absolutely. They've looked. But I go like, oh, it's because we're cute. 
You know, like that's why. <laughs> that's what I chalk it up to. Yeah. And it's maybe maybe that sounds ignorant in a way, but like again, if they're not saying anything, and I don't want them to say anything, like mm-hmm. I'm not wondering what your opinion is, and I feel bad, you know, for people who are these famous people when their life is in the spotlight, and that people feel like it's their obligation or their um, that they should be able to give such a strong opinion about something that literally has nothing to do with you, right? That, to me, is it just feels a little bit like, do you have nothing else that you need to do? Exactly. Right? Yeah. Like I, in New York, we've had this instance. We were walking down the street holding hands, and there was a group of men, and unfortunately it was black men. It made me really sad that they did this, but they were, like, they were not happy that I was in a relationship with him, and they felt the need to tell me, right? And they felt the need to make us feel also kind of scared. And it was just like, dudes... Again, nothing to do with you. That's right. Live your life. Stay on the street yeah. talking to each yeah. other, right? We walk by. We're yeah. not looking at you. We're not doing anything. And I feel like, you know, this was an experience where we both were like, we just have to kind of watch out here. Yeah. But in Iceland, I've never had an experience where someone was like, you shouldn't be with blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And was like, but if they did say that, I would go like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, this is not going to change who I love. That's right. And you're in, in like, I don't know, this... This whole concept of interracial dating, and I, and I say it because it, it exists, obviously, we need to talk about it, but the fact that we have to say that in the first place, or like the yeah, concept of race and all of that, yeah. it's just, it's dumb. It and is. it's, again, just like trying to keep people apart rather than bringing people together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's it, it's been a positive experience is That's what good. I'm getting That's at. Really good. And I've not had, you know, um, also, I, I've had friends who've talked about things, not with their relationships, though. That's why I think it's kind of interesting. And his family, super welcoming. So at least the family that I know. Yeah. Right. And I think maybe that's another thing. Maybe he's just protected me from people that are crappy. <laughs> and we've had the opportunity to just like his mother, his immediate family. I've gotten along with so well. I'm really good friends with his sister, yeah. sister-in-law. So I'm, yeah, I'm that's very really fortunate. Good. And your channel, All Things Iceland, what prompted you to do it? Yeah, I. it was funny that people were always asking me why, first of all, did you move to Iceland? And then also, <laughs> <laughs> what is it about it? Like, what, mm-hmm. what is there to do there? All this stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm going to create a podcast in order to provide information to my friends and family who are always asking, but I couldn't find a podcast at the time mm-hmm. that was doing this. And I was listening to a lot of Tim Ferriss, like I'm a big Tim Ferriss fan, mm-hmm. because, I mean, he works his ass off, honestly, and he, he's always having, like, fascinating guests on his show. So I was like, okay, since I'm being highly motivated <laughs> by listening, just purely, you know, uh, having this in the background, and I'm not finding what I want, maybe it's time for me to create what I want. Mm. So I created the channel or, you know, the podcast, the audio part Mm -hmm. to also to help people that were asking for it, but also for me to learn. So this became a project of me like adapting to Icelandic culture Mm. by immersing myself in it with like all the different facts and fascinating things. And I was like, oh, wow, I really like this. This is super interesting. Mm -hmm. But also... I have a personality, you know, like I like to kind of like be a little silly or have fun or show people things visually. And that's where the YouTube part came from. And then like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok now and everything. So for me, it's been this journey of self-discovery a lot Mm. and how Iceland has changed me. And I I see myself shifting over time into Mm. being, you know, from this corporate person to this creative. Yeah. And that wasn't something I expected, but I feel like in Iceland it's in the air. Like creativity is just like sitting there waiting for you to just breathe it in and express it somehow. Right, right. And your reach is amazing. You recently met the first lady yeah. I saw on mm-hmm. Iceland. How did that come about? Yeah. So it's, <laughs> I, I interviewed her husband actually last year. Really? I interviewed the president of Iceland. Okay. Uh, he's super nice. He was the one who suggested it. That was the thing that was even crazier. Wow. Yeah, it was just like, this is bizarre. Um, but I'm going to take it, right? Like, I'm, 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 and that, but that's Iceland. Like, he does not see himself as better than anybody else. He's like, yeah, I'm the president, but I represent the people. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Who are you? And his wife is the same way. They're so down to her and super chill. And in her way, it was more about, she has this, uh, it's called the Iceland Writers Retreat. And they were looking for like help with social media and stuff. And because I do digital marketing consulting as well, along with like the other stuff that I do, uh, we've met just to talk about like how I could potentially help in that way. So it was not, it was nothing 
in regards to her role as the first lady. Mm -hmm. But again, like the first lady, you know, also is not just sitting around looking pretty. She's like, she has this thing that she founded before she was ever first lady yeah. and wants to continue going and, you know, has her own interests. Wrote a book recently about um, Icelandic women and how they're like changing, helping to change the world. So, yeah, I, I think Iceland is just one of those places where it is that small. Yeah. And people really, even when it comes to celebrities, they're like, you're, you're just like me. You know, like, of why course. should I treat you any differently? Of course, of course. So being here, you're very close to Europe. Mm -hmm. What has been one of your favorite destinations out there? Yes. Since you only cover Iceland. I know. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I've been fortunate to go to different places in Europe. The weird, the weird one, I think, is because I, I miss going to the beach more often, is I went to the Canary Islands. Yes. So it's part of Spain, but like, you know, these little batch of islands. And we went to Tenerife. And mm. granted, if you stay away from like the touristy part of Tenerife, yeah. I feel like it's so nice. It was just so relaxing. And this is actually an Icelandic... Uh, getaway, like a lot of Icelanders go there, yeah. because of the fact that Tenerife is is um, it's only like maybe four hours flight or something. It's not very far, but you just get transformed into like this really beautiful place that is like things are so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing when you go like anywhere out of Iceland, you're like, wow, things are cheap. Yes, um, I really love Switzerland though, even though things are really expensive, expensive there. Yeah. But it was just so different of a culture. Yeah. and we were walking down the street, and I remember like you get to the sidewalk, and they immediately stop. Yeah, right, and I'm like. Should I stop? Right? Yeah, like, it's like, yeah. And they're like, no, you go across the street. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, Swiss yeah. people are just so, like, on it. And the whole time thing, like, that, that was not a joke. Like, mm -hmm. literally, if you were not on the train on time, you missed it. That's it. That, that's, <laughs> that is it. You know what I mean? There isn't, like, we're running late. It's like, no, it's gone. Right? So, um, yeah. And then I've also been to, like, Germany. And I, I thought it was kind of nice, like, going to Bavaria and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah, there's been like a couple of places, but I really enjoy Tenerife, and I think it's mainly because I really just want to go to the beach. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's funny. That's yeah. funny. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, press the like button, and stay tuned for the next episode. Next time on Adventures. Feels like you're getting paid less. I have a higher standard of living.